Well, good morning. There we are again. We're getting ready to go for a walk, walk, walk. We're going out to what they call Swan Lakes, that lake I've been pointing out in the last videos to uh, use. So we'll go out and look and see what it is. Make sure we're all recording and good. There we are. So here's that construction zone we've been watching. So we're going to take off and get out of here. Head for Swan Lake. It's going to be noisy for a little bit. It's going to be noisy for a little bit because we've got to walk up here to the stoplight and then turn right. So all this damn traffic up here, trucks and everything else running here on this busy street. I think this old Virginia, North Virginia is becoming the busiest street in town. And it don't help with all that construction over there by Walmart. See, lots of traffic. Here comes another noisy one behind us. See? So. That nastiness is just something we got to deal with. And all this damn traffic running down through here. It used to be you could walk up here this time of day. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning. And not have that problem. All the damn noise going by. Really inconsiderate of them, but since I'm making a video, they shouldn't be doing that. Block the road, have the police block the road off while I'm walking through. It's just way too noisy out here. Hopefully once we get off of this, it'll quiet down a little bit. Another Swift. What's this container truck? Okay. That's illegal, by the way, driving a truck with no name on the door. Somebody ought to call him in. Here comes another noisy truck behind us. UPS is always noisy. We call them Buster Brown. There's another noisy one. See, everybody's being noisy. Now everybody can watch the video and see if they made it to the video. I'm not cutting anybody out. If they're gonna walk the wrong direction on the road, like this guy up here is, we're gonna get to see his face. Because he should be on the other side of the road going the way he is. Facing traffic, not away, so you can see what traffic is doing. But if they want to do that, not much I can do. Uh, idiots are idiots. That's why people are dying walking around Reno. They don't follow the rules. Don't pay attention. at all. Hey, how's it going? What? Got a lovely day of paradise out here. Huh? Yeah, it is. Have fun. I'm going this way. Oh, there's Chewy. Yeah, we're going to walk up here to the stoplight and make a left. Even though the, the Google Maps wants me to turn the other side of Amazon there. We did that last time we went this direction for the uh, paying the bill, paying the T-Mobile bill. So this time we're going to go this way. 
to the stoplight where that truck is up there if you can see him. Probably not. Cause I got it wide so everybody can see what's going on. All four. Today I got the radio playing in my ears country music so if I start singing, that's why. Look at all the weeds growing up up there. They really need somebody to take care of this mess. That's going to be a fire hazard. Hey, there's the ride. They say the flex ride, you're supposed to be able to call that and get a ride anywhere. I bet it costs more than the regular bus. It's the, it's the bus system trying to compete with uh, ride sharing companies. Uber, Lyft, Little C Taxi. They're not doing a pretty good job because the way, the way you slice it, even with that bus that just went by, it's still slow. If you use the lift, then you're going to get there like you're in a car, but somebody else does the driving, which would be nice. Don't have to own a car. If you can afford it, don't have to own a car, don't have to drive anywhere. At least in town. I definitely want to own a what's that? Definitely want to own a car for for uh, purposes of getting out of town. If this thing works right, I'm gonna get me a car. If I can ever find a damn job. So get out of town. Get way out of town. Do some of these long hikes that everybody's been doing. I just need to get different gear. Because all I'm geared up for is urban hiking right now. And local hiking. When I'm up in the mountains, I've got a tent on board, but it's a raggedy thing. Water, food, you know, the very basics. So I could spend a night out there and figure out where the hell I'm at, but walking out here in the, the city urbanscape like this, I don't carry that. I carry a second camera and a tripod, some water, and different sound recorder. In case this one gives up for some reason, gets broke. Here comes a noisy one. God, he might run you over. He's going to that construction zone we were just at. He realized I had a camera in my hand. Everybody's kind of one looking at me, wondering what I'm doing since I'm just walking down the road with a camera in my hand, facing forward. Looking at all the idiots walking by. Look at the trash in the road right there. Can you see it? That would cause somebody to have an accident. Something slid through here, too. Yeah, that could cause somebody to have an accident. Piece of a muffler. Tip. That's a muffler tip. Fell off somebody's car. We'll leave it right where it's at. It's probably still hot. Now, the, the, the Google's going to want me to turn here and go down that road, which we already did. We saw the prime truck that was electric. Stupidest thing I've ever heard, but you know. We only run, what, 300 miles the last time I checked? That's just barely getting here from Sack of Tomato. More local driving. And there's Amazon again. Everybody's just driving nuts. Look at that, they're following too close. That's dangerous. If that car stops, if that car suddenly stops, it's in front of that other car, then 
that other car is going to rear end. The one in the back is going to rear end the front one. There's no two ways around it. It's way too close. You know, safety-wise, you should be three cars back all the time, regardless of traffic. Trash! We got trash out here! I told you there's always something different on the walking. Always something different. Yeah, my earphone fell out. Hey, there's that prime truck. It's just a day camp, so he's local or just running over the hill? Probably just local. Closest Prime would be Stockton, or closest Amazon would be Stockton. So it's probably just local in a day camp. And you know, they're starting to run trucks, more trucks over the hill because all the snow has gone away, mostly. Anyway, so we'll just keep on going out here. I didn't think the pond was way out there at Military Road. But we're just gonna go out this way anyway. See if I got the right lake, right pond. Because I thought it was just closer than that. A whole lot closer than that. Runoff pond, they're calling. Swan Lake. Oh well, we'll walk out there anyway and see what's going on. So I'm only going to do 30 minute videos. It'll be part one, part two, part three. And doing this, you know, and the views aren't very good this way because we're not up on the mountain so high so we can see everything. Then for then for uh, then for for the next video, I'm going to go downtown and do what I've been threatening to do: is walk that Truckee River hiking trail. They call it a hiking trail, but it's probably just a bike path. Running from downtown Reno to uh, Mayberry Park. But that's coming up. More trash. Who cares? Look at all the water. Look at all the sand washed down from the rain. And it rained hard here. Hope it don't rain while we're out. I didn't bring a waterproof jacket. I don't have one, but that's beside the point. There's another truck. We've been walking for about 15 minutes, and how many trucks did we see? We'll see what happens. Yeah, still the same. But up here at the light, we're taking a right. So we'll cross over, then we'll cross over. Keep on going. Huh. That van came from the animal place up the way, the zoo. Small one-man operation. Probably just the way a guy could have those big expensive pets. Tigers, lions, cheetahs, wolves, owls. Hey, look at that, there's water in the road in the path. Not careful, I'm gonna slip and fall on my ass again. And we're gonna turn here. I can't believe that company's still in business. I'm gonna try to get past all the water with all the trash in it. It's 
not good. People are messy. So anyway, we're doing a, like I said, we're doing a four point, four point, well, five mile walk one way. According to Google Maps, but I don't know how accurate they are. But we're going that way in a minute. The big amount of traffic will go away in this busy road. It's just a two lane road and it's busy like that. And there's hardly any police out here. We've been walking for 15 minutes, we haven't seen one. Should have saw four. But you know how it goes. Hey, there's houses up here for sale. You just gotta figure out which one. They're all factory built homes put on foundations, but they're but they're there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross here straight ahead. Then we're gonna end up going over that way, across the other side of the intersection. Be safer. so we can make our right hand turn. So we're gonna go this way. Oh, cool. Let's check all the directions here. Okay. Yep, dangerous cars. That road there is supposed to go out into the hills. One of these days we're gonna have to walk it and find out. This is the local car lot. You wanna buy a piece of junk for to uh, drive around. There it is. Look at that. It'll look all directions now. See if there's anything dangerous. The bus is dangerous. Oak Harbor, Old Dominion there is dangerous too. Okay, we made it across. Look at all the weeds. The city's got to get out here and mow their weeds. This is all going to dry up and become a fire hazard. And this is the uh, s &L warehouse. That's what's here. I don't know what they do there, but I've applied for their job, but they keep wanting to give me the one in South Virginia. I don't want to go that far. I can't walk there, I don't want to do the job because of the car burn. That's a nice car. Because if they, uh, if I can't walk there, car breaks down, or I just want to get a little more exercise during the day, maybe videotape the trip to work. Then I don't really want the job. Because if Joe Biden decides to get rid of all the gas, like California's trying to do, I had to talk about Governor Newsom on the other channel too, but but like they're trying to do, what the hell is that? I don't know what that thing is with the orange pad on it, but somebody's using it for something. But the um, if they did end up getting rid of gas and making you all buy electric, make everybody buy, force everybody to buy electric this year, like California's trying to do. Well, I don't want an electric car, so I'll be walking or riding a horse. Horse and buggy. I'd rather have my old gas car back. Keep my old gas car back. There was a squirrel there while I was talking, but I don't know if you saw him or not. But uh, yeah, up here, it's really hard to find a job with Joe Biden in the office because they all want to do the woke culture. They all want to do the feminist bullshit. The Me Too feminist bullshit. They all want to be all inclusive. So that means they want the gays and the, the transgender. And it's getting so bad. If you don't decide to wear a dress to work as a man, then you may not have a job. Especially around here in Reno with all the California businesses moving in like this one. And all these warehouses over here. Anyway, so we're going to keep on going. 
Now when we go into this strange bridge down here that I keep complaining about on all the videos, like walk under it, instead of turning left or right, we're just gonna go straight. Cross the intersection and go on straight. I know you guys wanna see down there. Then tomorrow we're gonna start a whole totally different area and I may do a series on downtown too. After that, take and ride the bus downtown or get a ride downtown. Then start at one end and walk to the other and go six or seven blocks either way and show you what's there. But you gotta keep subscribing to the channel to make sure you're doing it. 10 minutes before this video's up, so this video will probably take us right to the bridge. Then we gotta do it again and again and again. So we're gonna walk from, uh, I gotta figure out how to title this so it's interesting. Hiking. That's all hiking is, is just walking out in the hills. Up there. But we're going to stay on the road way this trip. I thought it was closer because you can see the pond from the park. Military road. It might be close. It might run right in front of it. More than the map it does. I'm just thinking out loud. So we're just going to keep on going this way. Hopefully that wind coming at me, which it feels good. Don't hear it on the microphone, but if you do, you do. Hey, they stopped construction over there. Now it's just become a vacant lot. There's no equipment there. There's no nothing. They must have moved it all across the street. To that warehouse district. That guy that owns all them cars and trash over there. He got it in across this property. So I'm wondering if... Uh, He's going to get it all out because he keeps collecting shit, tearing it apart, and letting it sit there. As you can see, there's a truck over, van over there, box van, box truck over there, a bus, a couple pickups. What the hell's this? City car? Oh, construction zone. They moved all the equipment up over there. Okay. Huh. People living on site. There goes Buster Brown, too. So we'll see what's going on. Yeah, it must be a city truck. It's got the rainbow colors, so... Part of them, anyway. And yes, the city arena was all-inclusive, and they want to do the woke, uh, gay, transgender thing, too. So we don't like that. So if I get a little money coming in and I can get enough up to move out of this state, I probably will. Lemon Valley and yeah, there we are. That's where we're at right now. I'm not gonna do the whole hour. They say it's gonna take me an hour to get there and an hour to get back. Well, an hour and a half to get there and an hour to get back. So we'll make it three, maybe four videos going there and then three videos back going the other direction. Or I just won't film on the way back. But I'm just more interested in getting videos up. There's a lizard right there, a little one. You see him? Just barely hard to see. You'll have to check. Look at going on over there. Okay, now we're back to walking with no sidewalk, so gotta be careful. We're digging and doing something, moving dirt around over here in the corner, that's about it. This construction site ain't doing nothing. It's growing grass. You see why you want traffic facing you, right there. You got these big SUVs, if they don't see you, looking at them, then they'll stay right on the line and, uh, you know, you'll damn near get run over. They don't think. They're dangerous. 
So we're going to go through this weird intersection and then cross the other intersection and just keep on going. We're going to end up over there behind Walmart. Kind of going the long way, because as you can see, bits and pieces of the, I think that's bits and pieces of the lake through the crevice there, but who knows. But we're going to walk over there and then we'll, we'll video back. Do this, some kind of piece of equipment on that trailer. It's all rusty. Look like a compaction device for uh, a backhoe, but who knows? These construction companies do all kinds of crazy things. All kinds of junk being hauled around. Hopefully I got the leg strength and power to make it there. If I, if I overdo it, then I can always take the bus back and not record. Put everything in my bag and jump to seven, coming back and get off right there in front of the house. Or in front of the, well, where we started anyway. In front of the house would be a little further down, but you know, that's okay too. But we're going to get out there anyway. Probably take longer to get back on the bus than it would to get out there. And if we do, then I'll tell you. At the end of the video, last video. Anyway, so here we are. We're, we're just going to keep on going. And here comes another low of traffic, so we're going to have some more noise coming at us. Chevys are always dangerous. People who drive them are real dangerous. But anybody driving a four-wheeler, which is like this thing here, is dangerous. Four wheels on the ground, pulling a trailer or not, they're dangerous. They usually can't see the side of a big truck. How, you, how are they gonna see the side of it? So the first person walking, unless you're looking right at them. Make sure they do anything, keep them in the eyes, stare them in the eyes, so they don't run you over. So we're gonna walk this little sidewalk and go down here and cross over and cross over to the center and then cross back over to this side and keep on going. Kind of stupid the way they got this thing set up, but. So there's no push button here, so we gotta look forward. I don't see anybody coming. Because people are crazy and drunk. Let's see if there's anybody coming this way. It don't look like it. People like to drive drunk around here. Uh, we got a uh, 70% increase in population from California. And the rest of the country is another 80%. 80%. So we got a van and all kinds of stupid shit coming. So we're going to 395 and Lemon Valley Drive right here. Noisy up there too. So let's cross this thing and check all the intersections. These guys were all sitting, so we're doing good. Wait. Okay, so now we gotta watch that light while watching the rest of the intersection. We do this in the car too. You film every you know, look at everything. Always keep your head moving even when you're set and thinking everything's safe. It's not safe when you're in the car and not in your driveway. See, look at all the strange things. You can do people watching this way too. We might do that at the lake because that may take me a half hour break there. So I can be able to walk back. And if we do come back up this route, I'm going to take a, a, a left at this that intersection coming back and walk back around the long way to get back where we're at or through the res again. I didn't like that too much, but you know, here we go, we got a green light. Make sure they're not moving. Here we go. Okay, those guys are okay. They seem to be fine, not bothering us. But here we go, down the wrong way. So we're gonna stay on this side. Just imagining this side walks over there, where it should be. 
well actually it should have been way over there we were walking so I guess putting the sidewalk in the center is the right thing to do because we'd have had to cross completely over again because they're going the wrong way. I think this is uh, the planners getting ready to make this uh, make a switch sides of the road so that everybody's driving on the wrong side of the road all the time so they can be able to drive in England and European because that's the way they're doing it here they're putting the England and European roundabouts in and they're putting all the nasty stuff in so we'll probably just keep on going we don't have to deal with the traffic over there this time stop and go yet what we're going to do is we're going to make a left back across and then cross over and then walk down past all that goodwill and albertson's or safeway or whatever it is and keep on going look at the two belly dumps coming they're riding too close to each other yeah, way too close the front one stops the back one has to run wait there we go I got the button push. The back one will run into the front one. So we got to watch this traffic pretty good because people have been known to just make a, a right right there and go down this side. We've already had four crashes this year because of that. Here we go. We're almost ready. No, we're not. We got traffic coming that way. Again, coming off the freeway. I think I hear an ambulance coming someplace, so we'll get to see that. We're just going to make this part two. We're going to start doing part two here in a minute when we get down past the uh, um, North Hills Boulevard ramp. If we ever get there, here comes a seven again. He's going on the freeway to get around that construction zone over there. So those stops are nil and void. There it goes. Look at that. I ever see a bus go on the freeway. There he goes. What the hell? There we go. That thing's got a vibrator in it so hard it was shaking the whole damn uh, sidewalk. Definitely wants you to know that you're taking off. The light screen. So now we got to walk through this nasty mess. This is a dangerous spot too. People always end up out here with their cars. Of course, it take a tow truck to get it out with all these big rocks. The traffic's kind of heavy all of a sudden, so we got to let the idiots go by. Oh, that one's letting us go by probably because we're on film. None of that, they would have just slid right on through. So here we go. Yeah, I've been doing all this POV style and when I get further out in the trails we'll do some of the other cinematic ideas that people are having. Like setting the camera down and walk us through it, but here in the city that's not a good idea. Somebody will come up running behind you and see you do it enough, they'll come running behind you and take the camera. I've seen it happen already. A lot of these cars don't have front license plates, and they should here in Nevada. The Tesla didn't. Doesn't even have a place for a front license plate. That red one don't. We can count license plates if we want while we're walking. Well, yeah, we're going to walk past here. Blooms are up. City needs to come through and take all this. Look at the water washed all the sand down. That's going to be slippery. They don't have a ditch or anything to collect it. Stop it. Look how it blooms. There's another noisy truck. But every one of these vehicles is noisy. I'd much rather be hiking up on the hill. But, you know, I've pretty much got all that hill done and. This is a hiking area out here where we're going to Swan Lake. Out here, it should stink and do all kinds of nasty stuff. It's a 1.8 mile hike. Basically just a, somebody, some place for people to walk, but get away from all this traffic. 
Well, getting there is half the fun right now. Since I'm trying to save money and you know, I don't really have a job. It's just kind of hard to find one right here. So here's Jack in the Box in the uh, woke business right there, Bank of America. I'd say never do any business with them whatsoever. They screwed me over several times. And I was doing business with them. And grocery outlet, big lots, FedEx over there. There's a UPS store over there. There's a bus station for the 7, but this one's discontinued because the bus went on the freeway. And you can't get the bus over there back. But we can get to a bus out of Swan Lake. Doesn't make any sense. They say it's 30 minute walk, but that's okay. I like the 30 minute walks. That's what we're out here for is for me to get walked so I can lose my fat. And it's working. Everybody's looking at me like I'm nuts holding this camera in my hand. Holding you guys in my hand. Yeah, well, there was safe light. Amazon. I mean, Amazon vans lean quite a bit. 45 degrees, that one was leaning coming around that corner. They probably loaded heavy high. That's how they do it. They put shelves in there and they load their freight on that instead of leaving it all on the floor. So their gravity changes. Now, we're not going to go up this way this time because of the construction. Wait. Because where I wanted to go is that pond that we see from that park behind it. And this is a dangerous intersection to cross because everybody's in a hurry. And this side and this side. Here we go. Watch them. Here we go. Keep an eye on them. Make sure they're not going to run you over like this one here might. Oh, look at that. She decided to saw the camera and decided to wait. Could be the police, huh? Funny. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, we made it across, so we're going this way. But yeah, this is what we're doing. We're just going to walk across here. And down here, there's a uh, Jimmy's Tacos. Jumbo's Tacos. We've got a pharmacy, Walgreens up there, some trees, some shrubs. Those are like trees, but they look like shrubs, too. Brick wall, rock wall. Jimmy Don's is over there. Oh, it's the new stuff over here. Some of this is surprising to me, too. A gas station. There's a, a car wash and smog center at the, by the Jimmy John's there, which is right there. Instant smog. So we'll look through the trees and see all this stuff. It would be kind of difficult to get to it because this is a hard road to drive here, Lemon Valley Drive, which is out there. See, here's the smog, Jimmy John's, cars, Auto Zone. be funny if the Americans most wanted found people through my videos, just walking out here and doing videos. Maybe we ought to write to them. Hey, there's rental space available up there with the... Uh, with the Walgreens. They don't even have the building bed and they're built and they're trying to rent it. Pretty interesting. There's AutoZone. And there's a deli right there. They got sandwiches and stuff. You know, poor boy sandwiches, sub submarine sandwiches, whatever you want to call them. It's green trash all over the place. There's AutoZone. Now the wall is going to be taller than we are, so we can't see what's that way except for a brick wall, a fake brick wall. I made it look pretty, but that was done with the mold because you can see the repeat patterns right here, right here. Yeah. Anyway, AutoZone's busy today. And somebody's private house back there. A bunch of private houses back there behind the trees. 
so we're going to go down here to about where that big warehouse is. Oh, it's time to, uh, oh well. We'll get down here where it's a little better. Probably get past this and do it uh, down here. Yeah, it's time to stop this video and turn it into another one. Trying to break it up into at least two videos going out and two videos coming back plus I like three, but two videos going out and two videos coming back. And we'll do it here and then we'll look at the ditch coming back because there's private houses back in there. Okay, we're all clear to walk. Oh, this looks like a dog rescue. Silver State Kennels. Oh, there's somebody trying to run us over. See them? Okay, so let's make this the end of part one right here. So anyway, so that's the end of part one. You've already seen most of that uh, area that we walked through. So we're going to go hiking on further down that way behind us instead of seeing all this stuff behind me now so we'll go ahead and call this the end of part one then we'll start part two up and then you'll see part two tomorrow or the next day whenever i decide to put it out so be safe uh, take care and uh, see you on the next one <laughs>